Hi, this is Genshin Kinkun, and this is a channel update video. I felt like I had to do one of these, uh, since I haven't done one of them in a while, just to let you guys know what's going on with this channel, with all the new releases, uh, out, or coming out right around the corner. Uh, the one of my biggest ones being Mass Effect Andromeda and Persona 5. Mass Effect Andromeda being released, uh, tonight, and, uh, Persona 5 being released in two weeks. Uh, the English release, uh, so that's coming out. The reason it like the reason it was delayed is so it could add uh, the ja original Japanese audio to the English version. So that's why it's it's cool. It's done. It's been done for like a while now. It's, they're just adding that as a patch, and then they'll release it in two weeks. But anyway, I plan on doing uh, two Let's Plays, uh, one for uh, Mass Effect Andromeda, at least one for uh, Scott Ryder. I already have a new name for him and. It's, immature of course uh, but I'll be doing a playthrough with uh, through the story as him and I will also be doing a let's play a persona 5 um, and I will also be putting up a Mass Effect Andromeda multiplayer videos on my channel now that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop doing Battleborn videos I'm gonna keep posting Battleborn videos until they're like done done with the until they're done with this game because as of right now we don't know if they're gonna is, is there gonna be a season two or not we don't know all i do know is that there's a shift in focus for uh gearbox and uh was it 2k um they're focusing on borderlands 3 and we're gonna, probably gonna get if we're gonna get any more battleborn uh news uh, about a possible season two it's probably we're, we're probably not gonna hear anything i want to guess until E3. Well, we'll probably we'll, we will probably I'm I'm this isn't this I'm just guessing at this point I'm spitballing. Uh, we will probably get about uh, not Battleborn uh, Borderlands 3 news E3. Uh, but I'm hoping I'm praying that we will get a season two for Battleborn news on uh, for during E3 or at least some update on like what are their plans for this game. I imagine that this game will probably go um, the way of. Uh, was it evolve in terms of that it'll probably go free to play like it was originally meant to be and so that will help the uh, community out with new players at least at least for a little bit anyway um i actually i'm hoping it does go to free to play because it, anything to help the community and to reduce the queue times is always a a good thing for me uh beyond that uh like i said mass effect andromeda playthrough mass effect andromeda multiplayer videos and persona 5 let's play I will be continuing doing a Dink and Rope uh, 1-2 reload of the first and second game. Uh, was it Dreamfall Chapters is coming to PS4 and Xbox uh, One the, uh, this Friday, the 24th? Yeah, and I plan on picking that up. Um, what was it? Uh, the Zero Escape, uh, the first two games are, uh, uh, so that's nine hours, nine persons, nine doors, and uh, was it? Zero's, uh, the second title, I forgot, I have it for Vita, uh, is also being released on PS4 and Xbox One this week. I'm not going to be picking that up right away because I have Danganronpa on 1-2 as of my visual novel to play, and I'll, and that's actually, I, I'm going to finish that before I even think about picking up this title. Um, yeah, because there's too many games coming out, and I, and I just started my second job, and that's going great. Um, it's basically turned into a full-time job because I accept it. It's kind of like freelance work. You basically, they give you job offers and you can accept them if you want to or not. Um, and I basically accepted this job that basically lasts, that is a five-day <laughs> five uh, week and uh, was it seven hours per day up to uh, from now to June. So I work for my uh, this I work for my area's uh, school district. So that's great for me, and I still have my part-time job at Little Caesars. So I may, if things go better, I may just quit my uh, part-time job and just focus on uh, getting uh, a government or a uh, county job and keeping my district job. Who knows? I'm just waiting to hear back from my uh, county, um, LA County. Dot gov job I applied for so I can take their tests and hopefully get a county job through them. Anyway, that's not that's that's personal information. I'm ranting. Uh, let's get back to games. Uh, 
like I said, I need to. I'm gonna keep posting Battleborn vids. I'm gonna finish uh, posting. Uh, was it Montana and the Demon Bearer and BB in the Heart of Echinar uh, story bits? I have them. I just don't have them published. So all I really need to do is post a uh, make a thumbnail for them, and they're done. Um, beyond that, let's see what else. Uh, I will be. I like. <laughs> I have like all these videos up on my channel and all I have to do is make a thumbnail for them. So I'm going to be continuing Battleborn, going to be continuing uh, Near uh, Automata, and uh, what else? Um, Danganronpa on 1-2 Reload, um, what else? There's another Let's Play I'm doing right now and I'm just, I'm kind of just all mixed because there's so much, there's so much stuff coming out. Um, I I do have the remaining parts for uh, Tales of the Borderlands, so that yeah, that's over. That's been done for like months now. That's been done since January. I, like I said, I just got to make a thumbnail and I got to publish them. Um, yeah, news on that. Telltale is making uh, a Guardians of the Galaxy. They're doing something with Guardians of the Galaxy, so I'm looking very forward to that. I hope they have the same writers that worked on uh, Tales of the Borderlands and Wolf Among Us, because those guys did a very good job on those two uh, series. If you haven't played them, please do. Uh, Bor uh, Telltale's uh, Tales, of the, uh, Tales from the Borderlands and Wolf Among Us are great Telltale games. Uh, you should play them. I pray someday they'll do another season for uh, Wolf Among Us. They really, it is really good. Because um, I'm kind of tired of Walking Dead and Game of Thrones is already getting a season two through Telltale. And I'm like, okay, whatever. And Walking Dead is kind of like their baby. That's what them got. Well, that's what got them on the map. So I'm not surprised they're making. They're still doing that. I haven't even touched. I haven't even touched season three of Walking Dead, and I may. I don't know. Maybe I won't, because I'm kind of. I I feel personally, I'm kind of. Tired of uh, Walking Dead. The comic is the best thing. The comic is literally the best medium for Walking Dead at this point. And I don't. Uh, my parents watch. My folks watch Walking Dead every single week. So, I don't know, I just, I'm just kind of tired of, of I'm, I'm personally tired of Walking Dead and Game of Thrones. I think uh, I'm just done with them. Uh, beyond that, oh god, I'm trying to think, there was another Let's Play I'm currently doing. I'm doing Battleborn, Nier, Danganronpa, oh, uh, Night in the Woods, or Walk into the Woods, Night in the Woods. Uh, yeah, I'm still playing that and that's that's a fun like visual novel type point and click adventure game um yeah i'm, I'm continuing doing that um i uh, i I'm, I'm i'm running out of things to say i kind of pretty much said everything i wanted to say um but yeah i'm trying to think besides persona what's after persona 5 really Oh, well, I do plan on picking up a Switch eventually. I do plan on playing uh, Breath of the Wild and um, possibly Horizon Zero Dawn eventually. Um, geez, uh, it's like the age of open world video games is now. Because we have Nier, we have Breath of the Wild, we have uh, Horizon, we have Mass Effect Andromeda. There's just so many open world or open world-ish type games. Um, I did actually, fun, funny thing, I did purchase um, the original Nier uh, for Xbox 360 because the PS3 version is way too expensive. So I just picked, I just bought a used copy from GameStop for like 20 something dollars instead of having to pay like 30, 40 bucks for the PS3 version. It's like whatever. Um, so I'll be playing through that. I don't know if I'll be doing a Let's Play on that because that, re that would require me to use my uh, Elgato and my laptop, and I haven't even touched my laptop in like a while, so I'm kind of nervous about touching that stuff. I'm planning to pick uh, pick up a gaming PC. Uh, so yeah, I think I probably should focus on picking up a gaming PC and just getting a new setup and, uh, you know, actually getting my own place, because that is the main objective of getting this new job and is just moving out and getting my own, getting, on, getting my own uh, gear and it, just, moving out of my folks place because I, I do live with my folks still um i don't i don't think anybody should shame anybody about that because the way the our economy is right now and just how horrible our government is it's not it's not friendly 
to anybody, really. But we're not going to talk politics here, so let's uh, move on from that. Uh, so, yeah, this is a great year for games in general. Uh, just awesome, awesome games coming out left and right. I'm trying to think. There's a couple other games coming out. Um, I am interested in um, pr the new Prey. That looks that looks like a, quite a bit of fun. That it feels very Bioshocky, uh, System Shock. It, that's the that's the way I, that's like the feels I'm getting from it. I'm looking forward to that. I would like to play Dishonored 2, and that's been out for a while. Um, yeah, except I love Dishonored 1. I, that was a fun game to play. Um, oh yeah. I remember what I was going to talk about now. Um, among the other things being released tomorrow, uh, Overwatch is finally getting uh, Orisa uh, live, and the console versions are getting their big patch. So Bastion's finally going to be fully Chris, uh, fully fixed across all platforms. So we're getting a major update to Overwatch. I don't know what's happening to Paladins. I'm kind of waiting for what's her name, the new tank hero. <laughs> like every new every new hero shooter is getting a tank hero. Um, but yeah, there's been multiple heroes, uh, mentioned or, uh, shown through, through Paladins. Do I plan on doing more Paladins videos? Uh, maybe, uh, but right now I'm going to be focusing on Battleborn and, uh, Overwatch. Uh, like I said, the only reason why I stopped playing Overwatch or uploading Overwatch videos is because of the Bastion, uh, Bastion Crisis. That was dumb. That should have never happened. And Blizzard, Blizzard realizes this, like, uh, we made a mistake. Uh, maybe we should actually listen to people when they make comments on our PTR. Um, but yeah, looking forward to playing as Arissa. Looking forward to the new updated Lucio. He seems insane. Um, because I play, if you guys seen me, I play a lot of support. And I play a lot of Lucio and Mercy. So, anything... Yeah, so like every anything that helps uh, support uh, is a indirect buff to Mercy, and that makes me happy. So because I play a lot of Mercy, play a lot of Lucio, uh, any buff to tank or other support heroes is a uh, indirect buff. Okay, let's move on to the next topic. Composition. It is the core thing for winning matches. And pretty much most uh, hero shooters slash MOBAs. Or pretty much anything that's team based focused with powers. Do you guys remember the, or if you ever played an MMO, the term the Holy Trinity being tank, support, DPS? Well, that Holy Trinity still remains, for the most part, pretty true in hero shooters slash MOBAs of today. You need, for the most part, a tank, a healer, and DPS. My problem is that people don't, people don't know what composition, like real composition, is. For Battleborn, it's the sense of uh, uh, not having a, like a tank hero or having a true healer to support your team. Now, what do I mean by true tank or true healer? Uh, this could be uh, the result of having a, a tank hero such as, like, I want to say, true tank hero would be something along the lines of uh, Galea, or Montana, or Boulder, or, I'm trying to think, was there any other real tank heroes besides Galea, Montana, Boulder? any other no not really no those those three are like the core core he, core char, hero characters in battleborn that can take a beating and keep on uh ticking um the characters that are not really tanks would be something like kelvin kelvin is not a tank he is more he's pretty much the eldred he's an eldred assassin that's what he is uh he's stun and chomp uh wall and beat and he's a, like he's a hybrid I want to say he's a hybrid assassin character. Um, and then you have other characters like uh, Galt. He's not a tank. He's also he's a wave clear slash assassin character. He's pretty much the road hog of Battleborn. And I've been seeing a lot of him lately. Um, 
Uh, let's see what other characters. Of course, Wrath. Wrath is not a tank. He is he is an assassin. He's probably the weakest assassin. But if you have a team set up, he can be very useful on wave clear and uh, diversions and dis disrupts. Um, for what I mean by true healer, I mean true healer being Miko, Umbra, um, uh, Kid Ultra. Those three heroes are true healers. They can support a team. Like, they can stay on the field and they can heal your allies efficiently and constantly, almost all the time, very easily. Uh, hybrid healers would be Alani, uh, Reyna, Cleese, um, is there any others? Um, anything that's pretty much a, that gives a burst heal is pretty much a hybrid healer. They're not really healers. Uh, pretty much without any without a real tank or a real healer if you don't have one of those on your team you're gonna have a hard time um, also having a uh, even better uh, Shane oh yeah I forgot Shane Shane's a real tank she is a real tank she can take a beating um, so yeah it's Shane Galea Boulder Montana they are the tanks of Battleborn um, if and if you if you're playing uh, for example if you're playing a boulder or a montana it'd be great to have a uh, melee uh, melee dps so that would be wrath that would be freaking uh diandi or uh let's see what other melee character uh, el dragon um you have uh pendles um pretty much our, our secondary tank character that melees anything to put pressure on the opposing team is great because even though Montana Montana can put pressure he has no melee so he's pure range beyond his uh, beyond beyond his uh, knockback uh, circle ability his flick and his uh, lumberjack he he's he's pure range beyond that and his ultimate um, so you need characters that just know know that know what their true calling is. So my problem is like I'm gonna have people telling me, oh, but you have an Alani healer and no other healers on your team, and you're kicking ass. Well, it's because one, uh, the people on my team know what they're doing, and two, what you'll be seeing a lot is me retreating, and my other teammates also recalling retreating to main base to get fully healed. Because Alani cannot keep a team up by herself. She cannot do it. She's all burst heal. She can't. She has no sustained heal. Like Umbra or Kid Ultra or um, Miko does. Those three characters, they have sustained heal. Even Cleese has a sustained heal if you pick his Helix upgrade for his heal chair. It's always going. Um. But, for example, if you have two hybrid healers, like Reyna and Alani on the same team, that will work, because they can coordinate and bounce off of each other. Like, as soon as one person has a burst heal uh, with, like, uh, was it Riptide or, or a Geyser with Alani, as soon as they use that, uh, Reyna can use her overshield uh, booster ability um, that can eventually also heal after that. So they, they bounce off each other really well. Pretty much, if you have a hybrid healer, you always want to either have another hybrid healer or a main healer character to bounce off and coordinate with that hybrid uh, original hybrid healer. Um, same thing with tanks. Uh, if you have a Montana, it's great to have a Shane or some kind of melee char melee based character to help keep the pressure and push the pressure put the pressure on uh, the opposing team. Uh, for yeah, for games like Paladins, uh, front you have tanks are basically frontliners, and then you have the support characters. You have too many. Si I'm running into too many situations where people are not playing support characters. Like I've had situation matches where no one, no one, no one's playing any characters that can heal. So I'm playing a Torvald or a Fernando or a Gro. Oh, not Grover. A uh, um, what's the goblin in the mech suit's name? Um, Torvald, Tovarold, Fernando, um, Ruckus, Ruckus, or uh, Barrack. Uh, I'm having situations where I'm ha I have no heals as playing a, a frontliner, 
and that's very hard to do because pretty much it's you're it, you're all on your own, you're on your own if you have no healer and you're playing a frontliner. It's all on you to just stay alive and run away and passively heal over um, as soon as you're out of combat. Uh, same situation if I'm playing a uh, Ying or a uh, Grover, a main healer. I just have no tank, so we have nobody who can. Uh, we have nobody who can have nobody who has any staying power or sustain to stay on one to stay in one spot. So I'm having to constantly run away or run out of my own run out of the, run off the point to heal a DPS because they're getting chased down. Um, you know, just too many people in both games not playing with not playing with the not 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 following the Holy Trinity or they're doing some hybrid hybrid crazy composition that rarely ever works I mean sometimes it works but most of the time it doesn't it fails spectacularly um, this is true for pretty much all hero shooters and MOBAs um, you just need you the Holy Trinity as long as we have games like this the Holy Trinity is not going anywhere and it's the it's the safe it's pretty much the safe space for matches is to have a t have an actual tank, have an actual healer, and have actual DPS. And I'm just getting tired of having to fill those roles constantly. Like I would love to play other certain other heroes more, but it's like um no one's picking these no one's picking a tank, no one's picking a healer. So or they're picking a hybrid character. So somebody has to pick up the load and carry and I'm personally just tired of that and like I would be re I would be posting more videos of Battleborn and whatnot but it's just gonna be me playing these sub these tank and support heroes over and over and over and over and over again and that's pretty boring after a while like you've seen me post a lot of Galea videos you've seen me post a lot of Montana videos you've seen me post a lot of Umbra videos well the reason for that is because nobody's like I said no one's playing a tank hero nobody's playing a healing hero so somebody has somebody has to pick that up thank you for watching this video of me ranting about updates and just my general thoughts and feelings about uh, the state of MOBAs and hero shooters I'm just going to let the match play out, so if you guys want to keep watching the video, feel free. I'm going to restore the original audio at this point. Mercenary camp engaged. <laughs> An ally hired some thrall mercenaries. are attacking a mercenary camp. Mercenary camp. Yes. Oh, stop. Yeah! Uh, 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 
isn't over yet. is moving out. Hostile remains. You should kill them too. Please get up! 